Let's start by protecting our slash post slash me page by checking if the user is authenticated before displaying anything on screen. To do so, we need to replace the get static props method by the get server side props method. When we export this method, Next.js will pre-render this page on each request using the data we return inside it. This is exactly what we need here to protect our routes. So, check if we have a session from the get session call, or in other words, if the user is authenticated. If not, we return an object to redirect the user to the signing route. Set the permanent property to false as well. And if the user is authenticated, we retrieve the blog post from this user, as we have done before. So we can use it as initial data when pre-rendering the page. Next, remove the revalidate property, as we don't need it anymore, as we are pre-rendering the page on each request and not at build time. And if any error occurs here, redirect the user to the signing page. Let's actually move our implementation into our utils.js file so that we can share it with all the pages that need to check if the user is authenticated before rendering the content of the page. So export a new function named isAuthenticated, pass the context as an argument, and paste the implementation of our getServerSideProp method inside it. Don't forget to include the necessary dependency for this function as well. You need getSession from nextAuth and our phone occurs manager. Now, go back to your me.js file, remove all the code from the get server side props method, and use your new function is authenticated instead. All right, now we can use the same function to protect our slash draft slash me page. So open that page and replace the get static props method with the get server side props method and by using the is authenticated function. And of course, don't forget to include it at the top of your file. Okay, now let's see if everything is working properly. Here, I'm authenticated to the application. If I try to access my post page, it's working as expected. My post has been retrieved and are displayed on that page. Now, if I sign out from the application and try to access that same page directly by entering the URL in the address bar, you see that I'm automatically redirected back to the sign-in route. Same thing with the draft page. And as you may have noticed, I don't get any flash of unauthenticated content before redirecting. This is because the page is pre-rendered on the server at each request. Now, if you look at the slash post page with all the posts from every users and click on one that does not belong to you, you will see that you can actually edit it, which is bad. Here, if I change the text and publish this post again, nothing is stopping me and this post is being updated with my changes, even if I'm not the author. This is pretty bad. No one wants his post to be edited by someone else. So let's fix that. Go back to your code and open the slug.js file. Import use session from nextout slash client and retrieve the current session from within your component. Next, check if the current user is the author of the post to display the edit link. Otherwise, don't display this link by returning null. That's great, but it's not enough to avoid someone else to edit your own posts. Indeed, with the right URL, any user can access the editing page and update or remove your blog posts. So open the utils.js file and export a new function named isAuthorized by passing the context in argument. Next, retrieve the current session from the context and the current blog post by using the ID from the parameters. Then, if the user is not authenticated, and if he's not the author of the current post, redirect him to the signing route. Otherwise, return the post data as the initial data for the page. And finally, catch the errors and redirect the user to the signing route as well in this case. All right, 
Now that we have implemented the logic to verify if the current user can edit a blog post, let's use it inside our id.js file inside the drive folder. Export the get server site props method and use the isotaraz function. Then pass the initial data as a prop to the page component as it is something returned by the isotaraz function if the user is the author of the current post. And use that initial data inside the use swr hook. Finally, don't forget to import the dependency at the top. All right, now let's do the same thing with the id.js file inside the edit folder. So we can protect both the draft and the published blog post editing. Let's now check if we can edit a blog post that belongs to someone else again and see if we can still do it. I'm back to the application and as you can see, we don't have the edit link anymore because I'm not the author of this post. And if I try to access the URL of the editing page for this blog post, I'm redirected to the sign-in page, which is great. I'm not able to edit a post from someone else anymore.